Great. So welcome. This is a quick screencast recording, kind of walking you through some of the steps that you'll need to take in order to begin your review in PRISM. I've already gone through some of the details in the faculty meeting, and basically I just wanted to take you through the steps in this recording so that way it didn't take up time in faculty meeting. And then you can also re-watch this video a couple of times if you need a little of assistance going through the different steps. And maybe if you're having a little trouble getting to sleep at night, my soothing voice will do the trick. So really the first step you'll need to take is to go to a browser and in the address bar you'll need to enter the following URL. Please don't put stage into your address. You're just going to enter som.ucdenver.edu. I need to add stage in there so that way I can record this demo. So you'll be going to som.ucdenver.edu and then you're going to log in with your university credentials. And then you'll be on your dashboard and you'll have really two things to choose from, either PRISM or faculty development. We'll go to PRISM here. And you've got a couple of things you can do at the start here. You can go ahead and review previously completed reviews. You can click on them and read them on the screen or you can obtain a printable PDF or you can go ahead and create your 2013 review. Now you should note that the time frame for the review periods for the School of Medicine has now changed. It's no longer aligned with the it's more in line with the calendar year which I find uh, much more intuitive. So start your new review and that'll kick things off. You can go ahead and review your reviewers and you can also make some changes. You can edit these names, you can remove these names. Uh, it's very easy. One overall description of the new PRISM system is that it's a modern web service and it really behaves like a modern web page. It's a lot less clunky than the Domino system for which it replaces. So now that you're kind of done reviewing uh, where your review is going, uh, who's going to be looking at it, you can click on done with routing and move on to beginning your review. Now you are then prompted with the question, would you like to import your data from last year? And I think that's pretty valuable. I think most of us are going to want to go ahead and do that. And it doesn't take too long. And you'll also be able to customize your review. So this is really self-explanatory. I'll go ahead and click Research and Scholarship, and then click this Continue button here. So really what I'm doing for my evaluation of 2013 is I'll be navigating these various sections which should look familiar from Domino and then I'll come over on the main body of the page here and I'll begin editing them. So because it's my review, it's safe to say that you understand that you'll just be entering a review of all the things that you've done in 2013. And you'll just go ahead and leave blank the fields that aren't relevant to you. And another example of how this is now a, a modern system is how these tools for entering and modifying the text are really in line with other websites you might have used on the web. So it's very easy to change the appearance and to reformat the text, making some bullets, numbering, and so on. So what you can do with your evaluation is just move through the various sections. Here you would click to add a teaching evaluation that you would have received for a course. All of these sections are self-explanatory. Then at some point you'll finish your review of 2013 and you'll move into your planning where you will describe your plans for the next upcoming year of 2014 and then five years. There's also an additional questions section that you can navigate through. So these are these kind of additional questions that you would have interacted with in Domino. You can edit the mentor section as well. Send the review to your mentor. 
You could also click here, for example, if you wanted to edit your mentor. And then when you're done, you would simply click Complete Review. I think you'll find that the new PRISM system is very intuitive and easy to interact with. All you're basically doing is entering text into the various boxes and sections. And the system is also allowing you to build upon previous reviews that you've completed in years past. So just to wrap things up with submitting the review, you can follow these various steps. and then I'm ready to click Submit.